All right, here we are, Big Daddy Shin, day 177 at 24 Hour Fitness. So on the heels of probably my worst workout ever in the history of workouts, I mean, this, last night was just ridiculously tiring. I was just like, I couldn't believe it. And then so this morning, yes, my legs were super tired as well. And my, I have new muscles in my legs and my thighs and my butt and stuff. It's pretty crazy actually. So, I mean, I'm glad I did it, but then I slept super amount today. I mean, yeah, today's 4th of July. Yeah, everyone happy 4th of July, right? But, you know, I didn't really celebrate much because, you know, let me check in. So, what happened was, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I did that, and um, I don't know. I sat around and did almost nothing. I mean, I was going to try and clean my car, clean my place. I mean, I, I did clean a little bit, but not as much as I should, because when you go like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to lie down, and next thing you know, it's like four hours later, oh man, even going up these stairs right now kind of hurts. But, yeah, so today, I'm going to get this cardio in, and then tomorrow morning, I have to go fix my car. And then I have to go golf with Kurt Stewart and David. David's talking crap, so we need to go up. Hold on. Oh. Yes, so he's... We're supposed to go best ball tomorrow. Well, let me explain it when I sit down. All right, here we go. Manual, okay. 286, 60. There we go, three, two, one. All right, so, yes. Tomorrow's golf thing. It's like Kurt's one of his best friends. His name's David, and he's a golfer. I mean, he's been golfing serious for like a year, and then so he's the one that, like, you know, on the Kurt's first birthday thing, I took them all down and par three golf. But anyway, this guy's been practicing. I mean, not just like a little bit of lie. And so, I suppose it's really awesome. And I say, hey, you know what? I can take you, your dad, and your uncle to Kurt, right? best ball so I go no way straight up he'll probably beat us right but what happened on best ball basically what happens is me Stu and Kurt we all get hit a shot and whoever gets the best ball all three of us take another shot from that ball and that ball whatever right so it's almost guaranteed we're gonna have a pretty decent score right Unless all three of us hit bad shots and bad shots and bad shots then. Yeah, so what you do is you take one person, does a safety shot, and the other two people go for it. But, you know, I'll explain that tomorrow when we do that. Anyway, so yes, yesterday I was so tired. I hit, like, a, not a curb. Well, I guess maybe it was. And what happened to my tire pop? I didn't know, it just had a leakage, and then later on, like this morning, is was messed up, and I was like, oh. So the tire place that I bought it from, they were closed today. You know, it's a chain place called Mountain View Tires. I'm still upset with them because they sold me tires when I only had 50,000 miles on my first tire, so there might have been a warranty. And they sold me these Goodyear tires that the rebate's not working right now. So, pretty upset. So, let's see what happens tomorrow. I mean, they gave me a good initial price on these tires. Okay, I get it. But that's when you had the rebate. So, if I don't get that rebate, I'm going to be pissed. But they should fix the tire. But it's, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. It's one of those things where it's not on the tread of the tire, it's on the side of the tire. But then I had a flat with that one tire as well. They said, oh, you went over a nail. 
I'm like, okay, whatever. But at the same tire that had the nail, it's the one that popped. So, we'll see. But I'm not gonna dwell on that. I'm gonna dwell on this exercise, because even right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. It feels, yeah, my mom said I should get some more rest and stuff, and yeah, I did, right? Hey mom, what's going on? But, I don't know, I think it's the whole psychological thing about weightlifting now. Not weightlifting, actually, it's just get on this bike. But just the fact where I'm doing a lot more things and I'm back to dreading going to the gym instead of wanting to go, right? So it's like, I'm like, oh yeah, Disneyland. Oh yeah, dance events, oh, golf. So things that aren't taking priority is like, oh, clean my room, oh, clean my car, do laundry. Okay, so anyways, I got a lot of stuff to do before I leave New Mexico. And the days are just ticking away. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, a lot of sweat. Okay. There we go, day 177 in the books. It. So, yes, it felt pretty good today being pretty well rested and then come to the gym. I mean, was I fully rested? No, I mean, today was one of those days where it's like, you know, when you take the, it felt like a day off, right? Where you're like sitting at home going, oh, should I go? Oh, I don't feel like going out. I feel like going out. Oh, should I? Should I not? But um, I came and uh, I have a lot of stuff I got to do tomorrow. Uh, it's like, what happened to vacation? I thought it was vacation. But that's what I get for procrastinating on a bunch of stuff. And so, yes, so I have to change my tire in the morning. And uh, go get compression socks for my legs at the doctor. And then eat lunch with my mom. And then golf. And then go to the gym. And then clean my place. So that's tomorrow. Anybody want to hang out? <laughs> I'm kidding. So anyways, uh, um, yeah. That's it. Just got to eat healthy and uh, we'll see. So hopefully by uh, in three days I'll be at 284. Right? And then if I did 284, that's pretty good. That's 26 pounds and half year, which is uh, one pound a week. Anyways, that's it. Big Daddy Shin, 177 days in a row. If I could exercise 177 days in a row, you could exercise 177 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you can do it. And yes, Independence Day. We got to be independent from this laziness and bad food and bad habits. Just time to, well, do our thing, right? Anyways, uh, got to go home, shower, and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah.